them fighting words. V R. Ah, uh, it isn't the v VR fighting master I've been looking for. Oh shit, Sally, how'd you find me up here, bro? What's good? Hey, how you doing, Super? Man, you know, I'm chilling, I, listen, man. Just working on some of this kung fu action, man, and this dragon fist VR. What brings you all the way up here to the training set? Listen, back down at the bottom of the map, there's fighting words in the community. And I think oh. it's up to me and you. To, to have to do a little, 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 little verbal spar right now and figure it out. Hey, look, well, you know, I already know what it is. It's been a long time since season two, one, and so let's go on ahead with the first episode of season two of them fighting words. Hey, man, let's go pop a squad over here, though. Hey. Yeah, you see, I got me this nice little uh, mahjong table here, you know? Oh, yeah, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get it from uh, Master um, Utau. <clears throat> Oh, let me uh, get, get into my seat here. Here we go. I like it. I like this little nice, nice sturdy stone table. See this bad boy? You know how much yeah. Mahjong you can play on this bad boy? <laughs> we have no time for that now. We got <laughs> we got serious virtual fighting issues to discuss. Okay, all right, all right. Hit me with it. No, what kind of what kind of things we got to discuss today? So, I mean, since we started this, a lot, a lot has changed in the VR fighting community. There's more than just, like, two games now, and, you know, <laughs> people are starting to argue. What's the best VR fighting game? Who's the best VR fighter? What does that even mean? These are some big, 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 big thoughts. And, you know, I have been away from the VR fighting space for a bit, so it is nice to be able to chat with you, get caught up on some good stuff, and you know what? really find out what because you know i you know i got my favorites on what's the the best vr fighting game but like yo t sure. hit me up what, what's been going down i mean so like we got you know the classic fighting game issues we got some people you know accusing each other of cheating accusing each other of spamming got some you know our vr equivalent of button mashing going on oh <laughs> word yeah little, 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 little tricks and things that can be used and it's you know other things are going down. People are playing different kinds of fighting games, and these all these games, you know, they're not doing the same thing. They all, mm -hmm. you know, can call themselves fighting games, but like, they're not actually, you know, there's there's different things you got to decide, right? Now uh, I'm VR. gonna stop you right there, right? Now you done brought up some fighting games, right? Now you already know my thing, right? And the last time I was here, we only had boxing games is like what i would consider fighting games. so what you're trying to tell me is we're trying to get there's some fighting game fighting games out of that you know that's a specific specific thing sir you know absolutely you gotta, what, what fighting games are we talking about here because i mean the last one when we talked about i don't even think we got into no we didn't we never we didn't get into rumble in the last season and that was the closest Not thing yet. to a fighting game we had and it was brand new so what, what, what are we talking about here you got to be careful we can't just be saying fighting games that's a that's a specific thing so that's the thing like First off, right off the bat, I think everyone is misunderstanding what a fighting game is, right? Because as you said, a fighting game is a very specific thing. It's not just, you know, you know, it's not necessarily just a VR combat simulator. There's like specific mm -hmm. things that people expect, the specific mm -hmm. things that you should be able to do. There's like play and counterplay. And it's, you know, it's very, it's very different media. from what I've experienced here. I, I would say that, and I, I don't, you know, I don't think I. Well, I would love to hear it. So, all right. So, what are what are these VR fighting games we talking about here? Well, here's the thing, right? I think we got to differentiate between like what's a VR fighting game and what's a VR combat simulator, because you know, what I think as 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 ringside VR as them's fighting words, we got uh, we got to you know add some to this conversation. We can't just say like oh, this game, this game is the best. We gotta, we gotta make a rating system. We gotta understand what we're, what we're deciding here, right? And, you know, if you would indulge me, I think, I've been thinking about it. I think I got something. Okay. Look, I'm, look, I'm, I'm interested to hear this, right? Because, I just, I want to get to it because I, we've been having conversations back and forth. We talk on the Discord like, <clears throat> all the time, about this oh, yeah. particular topic, right? And you know, I'm passionate about my fighting games. And I know you're passionate about the fighter, fighty, uh, <laughs> fighting games. <laughs> I use both as a pun here. Okay, all right. You seem to have thought about this a lot, Solly. All right. 
mm-hmm. break it down to us, break it down to the people out here. What is your kind of like um, a metric or guiding post? Like, how do you how do you judge these games? I got my thoughts. I want to hear yours. Sure, sure. So, right, like you got to You got to understand what the game is going for. I think any VR game, especially any VR fighting game, needs to consider basically three criteria. And I'm not going to say that like one is better than the other. This is a scale, right? We got from one end to the other, you know, a, a range of things that are just more of a style choice as opposed to like necessarily better or worse. Okay. So, yeah. So first, right off the bat, right? Is this game, and this is true for any any video game, is this game realistic or is this game fantastical? Right? This this, this scale break, of realism break, is what we're talking break about. Breakdown fantastical, like, uh, so we're just like talking about like, powers or like, we, we mean. <clears throat> well, like it's a scale, right? So like, let's say like all the way on the realism side, you are basically, you know, playing a boxing match, but in VR, right? This is somewhere where like your EOCs <laughs> fall into, throw all the fights in this category, right? I'm right, punching. Right, right. Maybe I got a cooler, you know, punch than I normally do in real life. But, you know, I'm not shooting fire. I'm not like making my hands glow. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do mine. Hello. Wait. What is what is even going on? You got that poison palm, I think. Don't hit I me. I think it's <laughs> not. Oh. oh, there it is. Oh, I have to actually strike you. Hey, at least I got a cool. It wasn't as cool as a fire hand. Okay, but fantastical. I get your point. I get your point. Fantastical. Fantastical. Right. Okay. All right. And like on the extreme of that, right? We you were just talking about it. Rumble. That's you know we're throwing we're, we're earthbenders at that point. Like we've we've devolved into something that you can't even do in real life. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Fantastical. Okay. I got it. Okay. So we get realistic on on this side, and then mm-hmm. we got fantastical over here. Okay. All, All right. right. So. What was that? Did you hear that gong? No. You didn't hear a gong? I didn't. Hold on. What? That was weird. Okay. Um, I heard a gong. Did we start a game anyway? Okay. Fantastical, realistic. The... Hey, no, no mind. No mind, no mind, no mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so, all right. And what, also, is it fantastical or is it realistic? What are the other metrics? What are the, what are the, what are the other things one should consider? All right. This next one, I think you're going to have especially, you're going to especially agree with me, right? But it's mm-hmm. gameplay mechanics. Are they simple or are they complicated? Okay. okay. Again, we'll go to our, <clears throat> we'll go to our example. Roll the fight. There's not a single button you press. There's the only movement that you do is your hands are moving through space and you're walking around on, on, in your play space. Okay. The fisticuffs. I got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, there's some like, you know, weak spots and like better ways to play it. But generally speaking, that's like, that's basically a free sandbox. It's, it's, it's telling you it's simple. You know, you, you fight how you want to fight. On your other end of that, right? You got, you know, mechanical complexity. Again, let's use Rumble as the example. You can got layers okay. of that tech tree and you can combo moves and structures in so many different ways. And even games like, you know, VFC and, and Dragon Fist have it a little bit as well. You add that stick movement, you add like a, you know, a jump or a kick. Can't do the kicks while crouching. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that looks like it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. All right. So, uh, simple, simple, simple to execute versus adding layers of game mechanics. Okay. Exactly. I mean, this exists in two D fighting <laughs> games as well, and I think you, you as well as anyone else, can tell me, right? Like, give me something on the one end of it's a simple game. Give me something on the other end. This game is like got a, a million button inputs just to get your combos off. Uh, I can give you the most extreme example that I can think of. And anybody who plays fighting games, I dare you to fight me in the comments about this. On the simple end, <clears throat> I would say um, footsies. Footsies, mm. the game, right? It's the most stripped down essential fighting game you can play, right? And then on the other hand, I give you 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wherever the character has on average a hundred moves and the mechanics are still being figured out by intermediates and experts all around the world. So yes, I can you know <clears throat> I can, okay, 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 we have a complexity. Okay, I'm with it. So all right, what what else what else is next? 
All right, and the last one, this kind of exists in 2D games, but is incredibly important in VR games, right? Is your game physically authentic or is it physically equalizing? And let me tell you, those are kind of words I'm making up for okay. this. But let okay, me tell you what okay. that means, right? Is it physically authentic? If I got, you know, a short person with like ti with, with tiny arms who's real slow, are they going to have any chance of beating somebody who's like six foot, you know, got, got massive reach and hits like a professional boxer? Versus like on the other side, physically equalizing, you're giving everyone the same chance, right? Right. I feel you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's like uh, enabling a uh, false sense of power fantasy where, um, yeah, on one end, the power fantasy is you. You know you're the exactly. better athlete. Okay. So I think given that sliding scale we have on this end, your your VR fighters that could be likened to UFC, right? Exactly. And <clears throat> your pure physical fighters. And on the other end, we skew to uh, fighting game. Exactly. And then everywhere right, between like the... where applicable for VR, there's a mix and match and a ratio. Exactly. And like, there's different okay. things, right? Like in your fighting game, or if you're if you're going for that physically authentic, you want someone's boxing skill and physical like muscle memory to translate into something. Right. Whereas like, you know, if you're using button inputs, it doesn't matter how much I trained in boxing. Like all that matters is how quickly I hit that A button. Mm, yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. No, okay. I, I, I will, I will say that I like this scale and I, and I hope you guys like this scale too, because I think this makes a lot of sense <clears throat> The of what I've known so far and played so far. Um, uh, my knowledge of applying that scale would go from your, uh, your, uh, EOC thrill of the fight kind of area, yeah. right? Pure fighters. I would say thrill of the fight is the most pure in a way of a the way. fighters, right? For sure. Um, then I would follow that up with EOC and then right. I would then follow that up with, um, like in different VFC. ways, the hybrids are kind of a jumble, right? But like VFC, Creed, Dragon Fist, all kind of fall into that like middle space. Nah, where... I think I think they're I think they're variations because okay, okay, so we're we're in Dragon Fist okay. right now, right? Right? Okay, let's look right. at Dragon Fist as a case study. <clears throat> Dragon Fist. Let's see, where would I rate this on this this scale? I would rate Dragon Fist let's somewhere start. in Is the it dead physically... middle. It's in the for, for me, it's the dead middle. Right. right. I feel like a, a dead middle. Let's use the Mahjong table here. We'll get this in the first person view. I like it. It's dead center. Right. This is where I place. Can we pick up, can we pick up chips? Nah, pick unfortunately. <laughs> I thought I heard the chips make a noise earlier. They have a different noise in the table. I like that. It's just good quality. I thought I heard the chips earlier. Anyway, dead middle, right? Let's, let's, I'm going to get these dots here. Right. <laughs> nope, nope. What's going on? I don't know why I was doing that. Oh, it's just once. Oh, yeah, you're climbing one. up on Doesn't the want table. me to reach. Doesn't want me to reach. Ah, VR things. What are you going to do about it? Okay, so that middle thing there, right? Dead center. Mm -hmm. And here's why, right? I feel like there's enough of the physicality. So let's, let's go. Let's, let's take it by a uh, degree. So the first degree was um, simple versus. Realism or fantasy? Oh, realism versus fantasy. Okay, so we're, I think, in the middle of realism and fantasy. We have a kung fu power dynamic, right? And the kung right. fu uh, flicks were kind of made off of seeing people do real things back in the day. There was no CGI. There was no ropes for a lot of people. Jackie Chan was really out there jumping off of buildings and stuff, right? But they, they right. kind of made it supernatural in the, uh, the theme, right? So we have okay. these powers. They're thematic, right? Um, but at the same time, it's still just a boxing game at the end of the day, right? The way mm -hmm. we play it, we have the fancy mechanics, you know, and I know that, you know, the palm versus the punch versus the spear hand, that's all. At the end of the day, it's a slap, okay? We know how we play this game. It's a right hook, a double chop. That's how we do it. We're, no one's in the complex. So it, it, in play, it becomes a very simple game, but it adds it leans more to the power dynamic because we have like a little special move, but it's one sure. special move and it's mostly rooted in 
not very high fantasy kind of stuff. So I would say it's definitely upper mid on the fantasy, right? So if this is definitely middle, I would put it upper, upper mid on the fantasy, mm -hmm. right? Um, and on the simple versus complex mechanics, dead in the middle, right? Dead in the middle. Um, I agree. If the, if the me mechanics were more at play, if there was a strategical advantage that I had to decide, like a rock, paper, scissors between these palms, like a palm can catch a punch or a knife hand, I don't know what mm -hmm. the heck, you know, there's no RPS it's here, so it's just slap, right? Um, so it's dead in the middle. Um, and then if we talk about physicality versus e physically equalizing, there is a level of physicality, but it does physically equalize. There is no it power, does, right? right? There's no there's no meaningful power to my punch here. But at the same mm -hmm. time, if I'm faster than you, I'm gonna slap you with the the, the chop. And I've seen uh, our good friend Rumble. Shout out to Rumble Kai. Hey. Um, hey. He he. I've watched his stream, and I've watched that he brings the physicality back into it because. He's able to fight, and I can't even do it now. I'm, le I'm leaning back. He's able to loop his upper body around and catch you at weird mm -hmm. angles to avoid the new. And I see him fight yeah, with his like whole that. back. Yeah, he's always weaving it. And so he adds the physicality, not in the damage modifier, but he gets over because he's more loose. And you see that in his stream, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of a little bit of a mix, both. both. So I, for me, it's about the middle ground as I can think, given the parameters. I, I agree with you, right? Like it is, Dragon Fist is in a way that perfect hybrid game. And I think what being a hybrid game too allows you to do, right? Like if you look at all the categories that we came up, if you are a realistic, if you are simple and you are physically authentic, you're a combat simulator, right? You're trying to give people a realistic experience of something that like, could actually happen. Like you're putting them in as close as they can get to in a boxing match without getting in that ring other side right if you have a so, fantastic wait, before we go there so oh, yeah. we would call this a high fantasy uh combat simulator that's what that's what that's what bfc would be it's a high fantasy combat simulator i mean i'd be a uh, dragon that. fist okay all right okay all right. right let's go on to the next one all right right so if you've got on the other side if you're a fantastical if you're mechanically complex if you are uh, physically equalizing, you're a fighting game, like almost down to the center, right? Like you're trying to let someone do something that they can't do in real life. And you're going to make people equal and you're going to try to eliminate some of that knowledge that, you know, being bigger, stronger, or having fought for more years is going to give you. Now, here is where I have to be an FGC snob. It's only yeah. right. It just, I have to be... There has to be, I think, and and honestly, some of my friends wouldn't let me live if I didn't at least bring this up, right? There is a sacred area of what a fight the game is, and a lot mm -hmm. of games, and it's been hotly debated, right? Back sure. in the day, there was a huge debate on whether or not Smash Bros. Should be considered a fighting game or something entirely different, like a party game or a brawler. And I'm telling right. you, it's almost as bad as Horde versus Alliance. You'll never get these two <laughs> sides to agree, to be honest. I promise you. So it's like, I have to add this one part in for what should constitute a fight. And there it is, a true fighting game. It's almost in a category of its own. Where I think it would have to meet, uh, it could, it, in theory, it could in involve some elements of here with the physicality, sure. right? Um, and, and technique and, and not be fanciful and be very simple. But we're waiting for somebody like Thrill of the Fight 2 to figure out that genius magical thing. So that hypothetical eventuality doesn't exist now, but I would say it would be possible. But we're gonna use the most likely case, which is everything on this side, right? It would have to right. meet that criteria, but then it would also have to have a system, right? That would have to be similar to a the rock, paper system, rock, paper, mm -hmm. scissors, system of, 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 of decision making that make up what it is a fighting game. It's like trying to call something hip hop versus rap. And I feel like a lot of games who are <clears throat> trying to be a fighting game are rap and fighting games are hip hop. They're pillars to what hip hop mm -hmm. is or pillars to what fighting games are. And like, if you don't have spacing, if you don't have a, something where we can have like a neutral game, right? If there's mm -hmm. no counter hitting, there's no defensive options there's no decision making there's no 
you know, I'm not playing a fighting game. I'm playing something that wants to be a fighting game. And we haven't seen that yet, but I do know, we, you know, there's something on the horizon that, you know, a couple of us have beta tested that might be endeavoring towards that. But once we're, you know, once that is able to be out in the wild, the beta test will be coming out soon. We had, you know, I think we might see the first foray into somebody endeavoring mm -hmm. to those true deep dark waters. And honestly, it's a scary place to be in because if, if fighting games are already niche, and we just now got to a renaissance the last couple of years ago, and now we're, now we're getting into esports superstardom and big Sony bucks for Evo, but that's Woo. a niche still, right? That's still in the greater for game sure, for sure. niche, right? And then that niche doesn't necessarily have VR. So to brave those waters, deep, dark, true fighter, I would say it's like, the hidden Akuma boss after you've beaten <laughs> and accomplished this right here, right? So I would just right. throw that in there for the true fighter. But I think for VR and for what VR is, the the concept of what a fighter has to be much more malleable. I think once for we sure. get to some 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 developmental steps, and I think these guys right here saw that. So let's let's do another game, right? So we did the, we did Dragon Fist, right? Right. Middle of the road. Uh, let me give you a game. Um, okay. Rumble, where where would you where would you rate Rumble? All right, I think Rumble's a pretty easy one. It's going on definitely in that more fighting game side because here's what we got, right? Realism, fantasy. Mm -hmm. That's fantasy. We're earth bending. We don't do that in real life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't yeah. at least. Yeah. If you're, Full if you have I mean, that's that. that's high fantasy. I mean, I I, I wish, right? <laughs> right. Well, if I could earth bend, whew, I'd be rich. Guys. Um, Trust me. Mechanically, it's very now. It's it's a little. It's not like pure mechanical complexity, right? Because what it is is actually fairly simple mechanics through their poses, but you can combine them with both your movement positioning and like the way that the other objects are on the field, and it just gives you so many different options, right? Like it really is. Of all the games that currently exist, I think the closest to what you're talking about in that fighting game, where like it's got a little bit of that rock paper scissors and that like. Do I want a small, fast structure that does a little damage? Do I want a big, heavy structure that, you know, is going to have a little bit of breakthrough power, but, like, takes longer to summon and is harder to throw? Yes. You know, it's, it's getting there. Um, and then last, right, is it physically equalizing or physically authentic? It's equalizing, right? It doesn't matter if you're three feet. It doesn't matter if you're ten feet. If you can make the poses the same way. You're, you're, you're solid, right? There's maybe a little bit of stamina involved for a whole match. There's a little bit of, like, hand-eye coordination. But, you know, I would say easier than actually learning how to fight or box, for sure. Mm. Mm. In terms of just executing the base moves. Now, getting good at it, I've been through the Avalanche Simulator. Not an easy feat. <laughs> What is the avalanche simulator? What the what? What is the avalanche simulator? That is what I call anybody learning how to play Rumble, getting the black belt. Because you're you're gonna fight a lot of people who know what they're doing, and uh, you're gonna understand that like you're gonna get hit hit with a lot of rocks. <laughs> Interesting, avalanche simulator. I almost swear to God, I almost thought that was gonna be a mini game that you guys developed. The Rumble community is amazing. <laughs> okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. If I think about this. Let me stroke my beard thoughtfully here yeah. for a little bit. Um, you know, I have a good amount of experience with Rumble, right? And right. I will say that I agree with you. I agree with you 100% that uh, not only does it meet these criteria here on the left, right? It's physically equalizing. Mm -hmm. right? The mechanics are guys complex even in the beginning i would i would wager i would wager that they're complex even in the beginning um mm -hmm. and there's I, layers to them too the mad layers mad layers i mean honestly um uh, and if that were enough it's got the high fantasy it's it, it's it the physically equalizing part um i'm gonna play devil's advocate not physically equalizing not in the way that you think. So it's physically okay. equalizing in, in, in the way I think. Um, and and I'm, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. I totally agree with you on every every point. But <laughs> no, no, let's, um, let's discuss it out. These are fighting words. Yeah. These aren't agreeing words. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For, <laughs> you, you're right. You're right. You know, um, so what I think is this as well. So when I first started playing the game, the 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 equalizing this didn't really make sense because there were some people who could get these stupid special moves 
and some <laughs> people like myself who just couldn't and i swear i felt stupid after a while right um right and then i realized that it's not physically equalizing and coordination if you are uncoordinated like if you can't pat mm -hmm. your head and rub your belly at the same time mm. you're terrible at this game right because what the game demands of you it looks like on paper they're demanding for you to do a big <laughs> you know i'm tall right. from airbender you know a little good a pose no they don't want you to do all that they want you to simultaneously rotate from a starting position to a predetermined ending position. And if they mm -hmm. don't rotate and end in the same position, I guess at the same time, it doesn't register a successful move. That is a coordination inhibitor, I think. And if you're not coordinated, you're right. then the physic that's where the physicality starts. That's where the limits, I think. For the and this, for that reason, I still push it like, it's like- Yeah, sorry, not it's not all, all the way, the way it's on like, like physically equalized. It's like it's somewhere like, a little bit in the middle. If this is all the way physically equalizing, I would say it'd be somewhere around like here ish, mm -hmm. right? I Not quite you. halfway, but some way close. Because just because the coordination, once you get it though, you're like, oh, okay, now I can develop from there, right? And so um, that's the only part I'd play a little difficult, devil's advocate for, but for everything else, I think it's absolutely spot on. And I will add this is the magic of um, uh, Rumble. Rumble, if you play fighting games, every one of us knows this familiar feeling and or situation. You see fighting game happen. You see somebody whoop behind, you see a cool Hadouken, and you're like, I don't wanna do that. I think I can do that. You pick your character, you think it's cool. You're like, this is great. What's that special move? Fireball, yeah. What the fuck are all these buttons? <laughs> so you look at the buttons and you think, what am I supposed to do with this? There are no rules. It's just a series of inputs. You, you struggle. You try to press down, and then you press the diagonal, and then you press the forward, and then you tap the punch, and nothing happens. And you try to do it fast. You try to do it slow. You wiggle it back and forth, and you finally realize, damn, if I just wiggle it, it'll come out one out of ten times. That's good mm -hmm. enough for me. I'm going to spam that. And it takes you years to realize there's a timing and a technique and a way to read that move. And it's a level of mental frustration involved mm -hmm. in getting from point A to point B that honestly, I think it's used to stop a lot of players from enjoying the game behind the game. The game isn't doing the special move. The game is employing the special move in a series of metagame decisions that is right. a fighting game. But you have to you used to, not in these days, back in my day, you know, <laughs> we used to have to play fighting sticks with the teeth. You know, like yeah, you know, you know, um it, back in my day, you really had execution barriers. If we used to show you the executions we had to pull off in a fraction of a second just to get a super move to come out in King of Fighters, you most of these people out here playing these games over here with these one button supers would lose their goddamn minds. Right? But Absolutely. when playing Rumble, I digress. When playing Rumble, though, doing that first ability, right? You have to start your hands. If you guys can see me, point to the camera so you can see my demonstrative technique. <laughs> of course, stance, right? Powerful. <laughs> you started at your waist, and then what it wanted you to do was take this right hand, rotate it 90 degrees, and when you rotate on 90 degree angles, it made sense. I'm rotating 90 degrees by putting my hand out and stopping 90 degrees. And then I have to take my hand and rotate and point it at my bicep. But that has to happen from here and at the same time, you realize you are inputting what is in essence a Hadouken. Down right. forward, and then you roll to the whatever the, the end of the input. There's a beginning and end of every special input, right? So they start here, it goes here. It starts here, it goes back. And I thought you had to kick the elbow back and, and throw the punch up to get that pillar to come up. You said all you have to do is rotate this back hand and punch in the air, and I'm like, my guy. Now we're now yeah, we're this... now we're learning technique, and once I learned right. that, it was the same brain relief, a catharsis, if you will, um, that happens when I finally break through on a special move, and now I see people I understand they're doing a lot of the basic moves on autopilot, which lowers their mental stack, which allows them to chain those abilities together, and the beauty in um, 
in Rumble. And the, the same way, right? They pushes. practice them over yeah. and over until it just becomes over. muscle memory. Exactly. You have to get in the lab. You have to, and these are the things that you, you don't have to do that in any, I don't have to get in the lab and practice anything in any of the games <laughs> that we've mentioned, right. right? Except for Rumble, right? And what the beauty about that, guys, is that that creates a level of mastery through game mechanics. You can instantly tell a Rumble high level earthbender, not just by their rank, but by the amount of sheer complexity the avalanche simulator if you will that they toss at you and it looks cool there's character expression if you like favor certain move you can win with that certain move or attack you could and here's the kicker i don't think we mentioned this before uh, there's a certain level of emergent gameplay that scales from mm -hmm. it, it can scale either way for that excellent right? video we right, right right now if you it, we, we actually should put the link of that video down there. I, I think you guys, if you guys wanted a master class in emerging gameplay, you see that video. But this side has pushed their emerging gameplay with Rumble. If the meta right. behind that is far beyond, almost Smash Bros. like. And I don't know if we, I mean, we need to get the developers on here one day. I want to hear if that was intentional mm -hmm. in their philosophy or did they just happen upon it just because the system and like the kid. I want to see who made that. Because usually right. in fighting games, the community is who pushes the meta beyond what the developers hoped and imagined. And we just don't really see that quite yet in the realistic boxers because we haven't really seen a physically magnificent specimen of, of a savant, right? That can right. come in and do some real Hajime no Ippo stuff. And you're like, how? How did you Sendo smash me from that low on the ground? I think we only get more cheaters over here. Uh, it, it, you know, because you can you can bend yourself yeah. down. You know, like if you're talking about breaking the rules, we're squatting right now. You know what I'm right. saying? Like that's what we're doing. I, this game here isn't really intended. Like we can't even kick. Like I can jump, thank God. But if I jump, right. I can't jump kick. I can't even jump right. kick. It's not even in the mechanics. There's no way for me. To, but if I'm down here and you're up there, it's harder for you to hit me, and I'm I'm hitting balls. Yeah. Right. I'm Johnny Cage, you know, and I'm sitting in a chair. So essentially, without and there's a sitting mode, guys. Just to be sure, there is a sitting mode where if you are unable to stand, you would appear standing in the game and be equal. So the developers know they don't want us doing this, but yet I could sit down, for example, and punch you right. in, in in the family jewels for generations, right? So um, I think that physical emergent gameplay that enhances instead of taking away, because I think here it starts to take away. So I'm going to challenge a little bit, right? I feel like there's okay, bring it. There's, there's kind of a line, right? And I think this is where those hybrid games that, like we said, the Dragon Fist, okay. I'm going to give you another one, right? My favorite, my specialty, VFC. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. The Let's champ. Let's do one Woo. more. Woo. And a got champ. Got a shout out to myself. Not not the current champ. We'll get there, but. No, no, you uh, like third angle, dude. Once you get the medal, you stay repping the medal. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. Hold that. You won um, that. You won that. Anyway. But you know, looking at, looking at at that game, right? It's most it's more realistic than I would say Dragon Fist, right? Like I can't jump there, I can't kick there. Um, right. Most of my you know, maybe I have combos, maybe I have stuns, and like a little bit of a special power. But all of that is going mm. through you know, a fight, mm -hmm. a fighting like much more UFC like you know, MMA style mechanic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's mechanically pretty simple, right? There's you know, but it does have in, in in the way that it uses it, right? That emergent complexity, right? Where if you stun, you do more damage. You can prevent the damage to yourself. It starts to have a little bit, right? It doesn't quite enter into that full fighting game space where it's like a guaranteed rock, paper, scissors. But it does add a fighting game mechanic that you can sort of start working your physical strategy around. And you know, we did our when we were doing our sparring session, champ, uh, with me. Um, I was talking to you about the, the the dash move, right? Combining both the stick movement, physically stepping, a I dash, remember the solid, and then reaching the around for a dash. punch. Yeah. Right, and so like there is that kind of you know pushing up the gameplay, but it is a little bit harder in the more fighting simulator kind of games, where you know you're you're you have the option of do I want to win through pushing gameplay. Or do I want to win through pushing physicality, which maybe is something only I can do or only certain people can do, uh, you know? And it's it's an it's an it gives this kind of tricky option, you know, for developers to think about, where you know if they're trying to make their game fair or at least balanced, right? 
they have to account for so many different possibilities because, you know, 2D fighting games, you're putting those inputs through a controller, it's limited, right? Maybe somebody has faster reaction time or faster finger dexterity, but realistically, everyone's on pretty equal, you know, ground on, on a controller or a gamepad. You put, you know, your physical body behind it, you add stamina, you add reach, you know, do you limit the reach of your character in game? If like my arms are orangutan arms, you know, is it going to be the, the length of my arm or is it going to be the length of the character's arm? You know, those are decisions that you got to make um, as a developer. Also, as a community, right? Do you guys want to try to fight, you know, whatever the limits of the game are? Or are you going to try to be like, hey, this is a boxing game. We're all here to try to try to box. Let's, you know, try to fight it, you know, closer to boxing, right? Maybe we can get a little gamey with it. But if we're out here just, you know, slapping, then it's not really a boxing simulator. I feel you. No, I think I think I vibe, I vibe with a lot of you say, you know, small caveats, of course, after you see nerd, though. Uh, but <laughs> um, no, I, I, I would argue like Dragon Fist and VFC are like sister planets, if you will, straddling that middle mm -hmm. line, right? They're both um, hybrids, like, but they're different hybrids, right? They're doing yeah. One, they went one's with more on one side, and yeah, one because I would I would wager that this game attempts to add that um, option of winning through mechanics or winning through physicality, right? But it's just not good with the mechanics. They're not as well baked in and right. solidified in their parameters as VFC. So VFC, I could pick a character because that character's special ability is powerful and match with my physicality, I may be a person who likes to spam punches. So I might pick fire guy, right? You know what I'm saying? Like I might right. I might be somebody who's a long distance fighter, so I pick the healer. I might, you could make that strategy and use the mechanics. Here, I like poison guy. There's no tactical advantage. I'm still going to plop, you know? Because I, the, the I, I feel like the developer has yeah. not made the mechanics as meaningful to push it over to the, the it's like, Right, it, I will never have it cross over on the line to a fighting game or a fighting game. It's like here, high fantasy, little. It's literally a boxing game with some high fantasy elements. Where VFC appears to be a boxing game with high fantasy elements, but in actuality, it's a boxing game, fighting game, or slash RPG mechanics. Right? You have hit right. zones, you have crits, you have counter state abilities you can heal their special moves but it's all yeah. predicated upon can you land a two hit combo can you land a three so they're pushing the needle over here a bit more while maintaining the soul of a boxing game without you know being grounded no jumping no we're in a cage yeah. we're we're limited but we're so limited that we have to play around i have to play around dashes like i see you dash that's a resource you've used now i'm thinking about the meter you burned that's a fighting game right. mindset right here Absolutely. we dash everywhere you know it's physically equalizing because we're not actually doing anything but it means nothing it becomes the new standard for movement because if you're dashing i'm a dash and now we're just back at the same speed you know no 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 more decision making beyond that so it's like but they're like right here you know just, mm -hmm. I, don't, these, I also I don't want to make it two. seem right. Like, I also don't want to make it seem like we're we're just shitting on Dragon Fist. I'm gonna give it the benefit of the fact that it is its multiplayer has not been out for as long as VFCs have been out, and I yeah. really you know I, I love what they've done with the game. Visually, it's beautiful. It's got 40 characters, right? It's got it's starting to get into there, but like I it's as you said, right? It just needs to develop it a little bit more, and you got to have that community input for that right where like you said the community is what pushes and drives the meta you know yeah. they're gonna find out is it better to actually learn how to fight or am i gonna find like you know is there a, a character who kicks better and i can just you know spam his kicks and and get an advantage that way right Absolutely. like it's, i definitely see this game pushing the needle deep into this territory right yeah because the the physicality we have a knife hand make this meaningful when you do now my physicality is matched with gameplay right because if i'm faster than you i might just go for a quick eye poke make it really mm -hmm. meaningful currently this little bicep thing doesn't even work like we're early days very early days and so it's not knock it but just adds where it's at if i've got to look at it as a take it for what it yeah, is right now we're gotta right be here. objective gotta be this is about as middle of the road as you can get with an experience uh if, if we're using the scale and if we take it to like okay let's let's look into um 
uh, something that might be closer on this scale, I would say, right? Um, and correct me if you think this is different here. Um, Creed. Ah, oh, we got to talk about Creed, the most right. fighting words game of them all. <laughs> right. Like that, that game has sparked so many fighting words. You guys don't even understand. Um, it's, it's hotly debated. Is it a boxer? Is it an arcade game? What are your thoughts? Where do you land on that? Where do you put that here? It, it's so hard, right? Because here's the thing. It wears the skin of a boxing game. It's a boxing mm -hmm. movie game right mm -hmm. it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. actually boxing it's got a limit on your stamina you 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 can use stick motion right there's gamey combos and like don't get me wrong i love the, i actually like those mechanics i think they're well thought out and well executed but here's the problem everyone who bought that game thought they were getting a boxing game right and they thought they would be able to box against other people with their boxing skills and realistically it's some of that but it's a lot more of like, you gotta master the game system before any of your boxing matters whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree, big agree. The, the, I think the note about it being a boxing movie simulator is very key. Um, mm -hmm. That's spot on. Um, so with that being said, where do you place it on this scale? I'm gonna put it more towards fighting game than Dragon Fist or VFC, right? It's somewhere some around here. Let's go by category by category, right? Realism or fantasy? Now, interestingly, the re it is realistic in a certain sense here, right? Because it's trying to capture boxing, at least in a, a, in a certain sense like of your, it. I like your finger boxing. <laughs> boxing. <Yeah>. Um, <laughs> but I think that's... But I think realistically, right, like, it's not trying to capture actual... As much actual boxing as it's sort of more... You know, trying to capture that, like, spirit of, like, you know, like I said, being in a boxing movie. Kind of like how this game right now, like, you know, it's a pretty good kung fu fight if I'm fighting with my friends and we're playing fair. But what it really is, it's like a great kung fu movie simulator. It needs and, more you know, well, Right. Yeah. And yeah, like, I, I look at Creed. Yeah. Creed is trying to make you feel like you're, like, you know, that, like, awesome boxer, right? It's got those yeah. slow motion time stop yeah. things that only really happen in movies. That's not how... You know, you can't yeah. actually trigger that on command in a boxing match. Um, yes. Mechanical simplicity. You know, in terms of the punching, right, and it's just punching and stick movement, but, you know, they've got a lot of, like, you know, hidden under systems, right? Stamina mode, uh, stamina meters, different hit spots, that, you know, uh, ghost system. Um, it really put a lot of thought into, you know, how to stop people from doing, you know, some of the most common things that you're going to do in a fighting game. Just, just throw as much hands as you can. The Wiimote nunchuck spam, guys. Yeah. This right here. And, like, not to knock anyone who can throw, like, 200 punches, but, you know, throwing a punch in VR is never going to be the same as throwing it in real life. You're never going to hit against anything. Even if you yeah. hit them, right, you're, you're just whiffing at air. So it's just kind of different muscles and different motions at, at play there. Yeah. Um, I put it mechanical simplicity eh, somewhere in the middle, right? It's got, it's pretty, it's pretty easy, but there's got layers to it. Uh, and then is it physically equalizing or physically authentic? It's equalizing, man. I mean, it's got some, you know, again, it's still some amount of boxing, but for the most part, right? Like it gives that, that kid who doesn't have, you know, as much stamina or training a chance to beat somebody who's at a way higher level. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah, but it's somewhere, yeah. somewhere. We got We got to maybe make like a special category for Middle? it, right? But like, it's a hybrid, yeah. but it's it's a fighting game Ooh. hybrid. I, I, I see a lot of your points, and initially, maybe it's a boxing right? fighting game, right? I, I think initially I had it here, right? Okay, right. But after hearing what you said i slowly started to move it towards here mm -hmm. for all of the reasons that you said right okay. um it fits the bill these things right? I, God, I think this, wor I think this works out look i think i think this works out guys i, I see the vision i see what you're, i'm picking up what you're putting down right i'm it's I just you know think it. mark think I, i'm a hey, hey, me you same right now so <laughs> i get it right like I liked Creed the most because of the fighting game systems, the fuzz, the fighting mm -hmm. mechanics in the systems, right? There was 
neutral spacing counterplay, right? The neutral in this game, because unlike every other game, you had to move, you could move by rolling your fists forward or rolling your fists backwards, right? So a lot right. of people didn't like that. They wanted to use the joystick or whatever. But what I realized was the neutral was, you know, those those fighting Irish poses where you're like this. Yeah, the you roll cuts. forward and you can roll into a jab, roll back defensive, roll jab, steer to the left, steer to the right, hook, yeah. steer to the right, Emerging hook. Emerging gameplay. And so it made an emerging gameplay around the fantasy. And when I keep in mind the fantasy aspect, and I think that plays a really key part here, it really made me feel like the boxer I imagined, right? Without mm -hmm. physically exerting me. Because as soon as I switched over from there and went to EOC, it was a different world. I was wheezing, different I was world. out of breath. You know, I was getting rolled on all over the place. All of a sudden, even in VFC, I'm like, Dolly, why are my, you remember the episode? Why are my punches mm -hmm. not doing damage? And I'm like, <laughs> I am as weak as I think I am. I need to hit the gym, I need to start jogging. When I think of playing these games, I think of I need to get my weight up. I need to be, I need yeah. to condition myself to get in here. And I don't have to do that for Creed, right? right? And I you think that think just like it. this is, yeah. Yeah, I, I think that the, you, the nail on the head is that this is a fantasy martial arts game, and that's a fantasy boxing game. If this had the phantom limb system, right, where I could hit you with a karate chop and your head would go flying and you had to reposition your headset, and in that time I could hit you with a combo, now I feel like I'm doing some karate stuff. Pay attention, guys. The phantom limb system is free to use as well. Servios had a whole article. I will post it if you guys don't believe me that was welcoming other developers to use the Phantom Limb technology to improve upon what they started on with Creed. And I think this game would benefit from something like that, especially if I For sure. disable a limb and you have to like re, you know, lock it in place to get it back. I think there's some guys anyway. But yeah, I like there's it. Layers. I like it. I think the system works. I think the system, system works. works. Hey, curveball. Hey. Curveball. Curveball. Where do you place Broken Edge? Ooh. Mm, that is yeah, you think I'm gonna use it with that one? Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right, all right. Let's do it. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. Let's go yeah, in yeah. order. Run it. Run Let's it. Go in order. Yeah. All right. Realistic fantasy. I think it's fantasy. I mean, it's you know, it's a little bit realistic in terms of fighting, but like you're winging, you're you're swinging that yes, sword around yes, like yes, it's yes, a yes, yes, yes. We're, we're pushing that to the fantasy scale. If it's if it's want to get granular, it's not all the way fantasy. It's it's like. Creed fantasy, where exactly. instead of simulating boxing, we're simulating sword styles through game mechanics. Yep. Yeah. But even in that, right, you got little special poses that gives your swords power. You can put a shield on you, right? Like it's got that. It's got a little bit of that magic aspect to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and plus, your swords clash. There's like special energy behind, you know, doing it, the poses. Um, which again, getting to our our next category, right? Mechanical simplicity, physically. I love that they're breaking up there, Bosky. Hold up. Oh, you're Sorry. breaking up there. Yeah. yeah. Well, Get let's take lag. it back a little bit. Okay, a little bit of lag. Bring it back. Okay, so We're back. let's take it from um, the uh, uh, simple versus complexity before you were breaking yeah. up there. All right. So, you know, going on to our next category, right? We got simple versus complex. This yeah. game is incredibly complex. Right, like yes. they've got such a clever system with the sword awakening that makes you move your sword not in just like this, you know, swingy kind of way, but makes you waggle, try waggle. to act like it's a real sword. Right, yeah. give it like some weight and some some special, you know, make it make it useful to the way it's shaped. Um, okay. You know, you got the three, you got your special different poses. You got multiple characters. Each character has different like you know advantages and disadvantages. It's got that complexity. You know, it might be not as many moves as, like, Rumble, per se, but it definitely has a system to master that's not just, you know, I can, I can move myself and react faster than you can. Yeah. Um, and then is it physically equalizing or authentic? I'd say it's pretty equalizing. Hmm. I think everyone's so moving where, where, roughly where, the same. So where would I'd you put that on the scale? So all right, let's see. So we got fantastical, complex. I think it's all it's a, it's a fighting game, right? It's probably the creed of sword fighting. Yeah. 
I would think that overall, my estimation would be, my evaluation would be the same, but for a few different reasons. Um, so okay. Okay. I would say fantasy versus reality. Mm. It's dead in the middle for me. And here's okay. why. What I realized, oh, you look so creepy right now. You was doing some kind of spider pose there for a second. I was like, <laughs> All right. So what I've realized is for those who have success versus those who don't in this game, the people who are most successful are fencers. And mm. people with any kendo or boken or any kind of sword fighting, even even the old English arts, because I have been reposted, fake parried over here. Ah, the lunge meta came in. People are actually like fencing, and the fastest line from point A to point B is a jab. And if I jab straight through, and you couldn't even block, but you could even clash your sword before my jab made impact. Like, yeah. If I if I register him before that, so I would say that realistic, it gets pushed in actual gameplay because keys for success can be based on real sword fighting. And it just has to be more defensive play. You just have to know that the risk is you're not there to clash with the sword, but you're there to strike first. And so that's why with my twin dagger guy, it's always a fake high. And then when you go to counter mm. it, I pull the sword away and hit you low, right? Because See, I can do that with two swords. So, but I, you just have to play a bit more scared. So it falls in the middle because the fantasy aspect is, and, and I don't see the, the power ups as more of a fantasy aspect. And so, like, I wish I could throw like a get to get show, you know, like a wave across mm -hmm. or had some powers. But it's more like, what's so special about you? I have two daggers. Hmm. Word, word. You know, yeah. what's special about your class? My sword is bigger than yours. Ah, uh, I am Arnold. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, there's attributes, but at the end of the day, I really feel like we're all still just playing swords, right? So it yeah. they cancel each other out, but they still end up at at, 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 the, at the middle, yeah. right? And so then you, you have sold um, si simple versus complex. I agree with you 100%. Incredibly complex. I would say rumble is the only thing that is beating it you know what i'm saying and rumble cleanly beats it because i still can't commentate that game visually guys i i could look at <laughs> um 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 broken edge and tell what's going on rumble you need a phd you got to be in that community big brain big brain is that mm -hmm. game um but you know they're still there uh physically equalizing right again speed is the name of the game in this game even under all of that nice fluff and dash and all of, ooh, I've seen people go, yeah, I've got an unblockable sword. Clank, get out of here, bro. Mm -hmm. You're trash, right? And so the physically equalizing part comes in two forms, speed and accuracy. So if I'm somebody who has better hand-eye coordination than you, you come in with your sword and I'm faster, I'm just going to point the tip of my sword down at the hilt of yours. Clank, especially mm -hmm. the curved blade. You have no sword now doesn't matter how you know now I, i'm i'm so you have to just like in the boxing game it's weird you do have to have physical attributes that best i cannot be just sure. game mechanics alone because even if i power up my swords and i'm doing that dance all you have to do is just stab me with an, a bear a bear <laughs> <laughs> you know also game of thrones thing just hit him with needle you know and then you're down so i think that for me that pushes that that factor alone pushes it further off it keeps it in creed area for yeah. um for sword fighting like you know it actually pushes it more to creed because we had to we're going to actually do a tier list one of these days put a visual graphic to this um absolutely are we missing any other game so I, I would say not quite on the full but like here and if if creed if creed is here it's more creed than creed mm -hmm. it's more high fantasy more fighting game like than creed right because there's emergent gameplay there creed only had one level of emergent gameplay which was hit you two times try not to get hit you two more times now you're stunned hit you two times wait you come out of stun hit you two times it was just the restun meta and the head bonk meta and that it, those are glitches again back to cheating right right <laughs> nothing emerging about so, it. No, yeah, so you give it you give a good point right let's bring this back to the fighting words right this is the whole point of the system is to sort of clarify some of that because some people are going into a VR fighting game, expecting a combat simulator, they think that their speed, their martial arts, they're going to matter, and yeah. they just, you know, they get beaten because they don't understand the game. They're like, oh, this is cheap, this sucks, you know, yeah. just just throw away the game, but right, it's garbage. Give me that refund. Uh, you know, other end of that, right? You got somebody going in playing a fighting game. They're fighting in a VR, you know, in a combat simulator. They're a little kid. No matter how, you know, how much they learn the game, they're not going to beat the big dogs. 
Yeah. Yeah. I think so. so like, I think so. You got to know what you're we, getting into. I think you do. And I think, honestly, if you guys are listening to this, this will help you figure out um, where you wh- wh- where you align. Because, honestly, that's yeah. going to be a what you huge want. determining factor of, like, you know, whether you're going to have fun and whether the game is good. Honestly, all of these games in their own right are highly successful at what they're trying to accomplish. Right. They have. Right. We have I love in every this, one of them. Yeah, for their own things. Even I'm a big, you know, you know I me. Mean? I'm a, you know, I, I just want. It's an act of love. I just want Dragon Fist to be more wuxia. I just need more kung fu. We talked about this earlier. Somebody should be able to do the crouching tiger, hidden dragon run in the air, and I should be able to kick you away. I want mm-hmm. it to pull. It deserves, I would say, out of all of the ones, to be pulled more towards the fantasy world for like where, where, where. Creed has made success, so it just re- requires more polish. And then even these other games like EOC, which are what some people would consider bare bones or still an alpha, yeah. it's beautiful for what it is because it provides that pure bare knuckle essence, right? We have a lot of right. cards that demonstrate true skill where you can say they're not. You, I really feel like Zenith in a real fight in real world with real weight would kill Polar. Right. I mean, Absolutely. we we saw the defeat with with all because it's it's equalizing in a sense that there's no weight classes for sure. But like the skills, why? Wow. Wow. Right. The skills, the hand guys, speed, the footwork, the hand eye coordination. Whoa. It was all all amazing. It. Amazing. OK. So is there any game that we've left out? Uh, I mean, we could do we could more formally do era of combat. Uh, but I think there's just like, you know, there's other games that are going to pop out. Right. Like. I know there's a game called like cool Crazy lineup. Kung Fu that looks a little bit more like a training game. It's not doesn't have that PvP combat at all. Yeah, um, I, think, I think the I think the PvP is the unifying. PvP factor is to essential. All these. Yeah, I yeah. think without PvP, you know, I'm not even gonna consider you in the. Well, it's weird because Thrill of the Fight has no PvP, but I still think we gotta put it's that. It's promised. It's just one. so good. <laughs> it it did promise one. It did promise one. It's still promising one. Thrill of the Fight. Um, so it did promise one, but it's so good at what it does. I, you know, I would just, I would, I would put it in its own little island here as pure, right? Cause you can't, yeah. it's not even good to cheese the game. I've seen real boxers go with real technique and be successful, which is something I cannot say for a lot of these games. I can say it more so for era of combat and then VFC, yeah. right? Where the boxing skills matter, but there's, it, 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 there's an increasing level of cheese. And then even when you go into Creed, there's even more cheese. So the, the string <laughs> cheese just gets thicker as you go along. So I think this is a solid, 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 solid um, uh, foundational reference point for what is a VR fighting game? Where on the scale does it slide on? You know, how can you rate the game and how it feels like for you? We can probably mm-hmm. end the debate. Um, but sure. yeah, I mean, I think that will be it for this first episode of Them's Fighting Words Season 2. Um, hmm. So this was a great episode. I think we're going to be calling back to this. If you like what you see and like what you heard, we do appreciate it if you guys give us a like, share, and subscribe. Solly has put a lot of work into coming up with this system. I really dig it. I really hope you dig it too. Solly, send us off with some words for the people. I mean, listen, we're just, we're out here, we're doing this for the fighting game community, and we just want everybody to understand, you know, get in there, fight with each other, have a good time. You know, trash talk a little bit, but like, keep it civil, and you know, we're all having fun. That's the, that's the point of this, guys. Yeah. All right. All right. fighting words out. Hell yeah, with that being said, catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace. Let's walk off off the, off the mountain. That was great. Okay, let's thematically walk off the mountain. Yeah. Oh, you want to thematically walk off the mountain? Okay, well. Yeah. I think uh, there's nothing more uh, thematic, really, than a spar. Yeah, you thought she was going to leave without fighting? Come on, bro. Yeah. Uh. Fighting powers. Them's fighting words. <laughs> uh, we're not in the match. We don't kill each other. Oh yeah, we can't can't kill each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Peace, everybody. Ha! I'm running away. Woo!